else was expecting to talk this morning? No? Good. That brings us to the end of the paper program. Thank you very much, all presenters. I very much appreciate your efforts to come here and to deliver your thoughts and understandings. Thank you. Do we have Rakesh somewhere here? Thank you. Uh, it's my great pleasure to organize this workshop in coordination with Leon and support from Danny Dunn. And it's really nice to have experts from different countries regarding the development of wind energy technologies for developing countries. I would like to acknowledge our ex international experts, David Wood and Peter, who has contributed most of their time and uh, uh, their effort for making some grateful thoughts and sharing knowledge about small scale wind energy for developing countries. And their grateful help from the very beginning of this project, or even <laughs> before that, maybe since uh, 2003. Uh, yeah. It's really interesting to see lots of Nepalese participants this time who have been involved in wind energy and the presentations. Like when we organized for the first time in 2000, there were very few participants from, like uh, only from APC, Practical Action, and COPEG were only involved in some kind of research and development work or uh, promotion. But this time I've been seeing that like uh, we have around 10 Nepalese presenters and more than 14 papers for the development of wind energy and it's pretty encouraging within two years of time period. And yeah, I would like to acknowledge uh, Narayana Adhikari ji, Pushkar Mananda ji, Ramsana Poro ji, and then also Ramprasad Rekhi ji has been giving a very good presentation regarding the actual scenario of wind turbine water the force being done in Nepal and their useful suggestions. And I think it's a very encouraging for university engineering colleges to uh, have their courses in wind energy so that it's not only the management who is going to uh, install the wind turbines or the make the proper environment, but it's also the role of engineers to have a proper research and design for the uh, prospective scenario. As Nayanji said, we just don't blindly adopt the technology, but we should have some encouraging and appropriate uh, research methods and appropriate design suitable for our country and let's hope for this uh, um, better future of wind energy in Nepal. And let's hope it's not restricted to workshop conferences only where we discuss about these things. I would expect that uh, we people who are interested could have a regular uh, interaction through email with different experts and <coughs> for their opinions for the development of wind energy in Nepal and let us begin it from tomorrow, maybe not tomorrow, you must need some rest after this box. <laughs> so after that yeah, it will be a quite helpful and let's hope for the better future of wind energy in Nepal. Thank you and yeah, I would like you to fill up the form that is in your table uh, for your feedback and respond so that you can make the improvement accordingly of what was expected money. Thank you very much. And yes. Yeah, please Ben, could we have you? Thank you. I have really enjoyed uh, this uh, conference and it's, uh, it's a great honor for me to be here and uh, on behalf of, of uh, myself and I guess also uh, of the research as such, it's, it's beautiful to see how, how uh, this uh, workshop has, has progressed, the expertise from different areas <coughs> and also what has <coughs> really been a great pleasure for me was to see how much uh, um, local people, Nepalese people, and how many initiatives are being taken. So I think that that has been really beautiful, and I also want to thank that you have made a great effort in arranging this, but it's also beautiful to see how how much support there is for this arrangement locally. So, yeah. 
Yeah. And I'm, I'm really glad I was able to be invited here and then be participating is really good and pleasant. Now, do Rakesh or Pramod have anything else to say? No, Leo, you would like to come now? Yes, please do. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's now just uh, a talk. Yeah, so last uh, talk uh, must uh, not be uh, long. First, uh, let me uh, uh, thank you uh, for uh, coming and uh, for your lectures. And uh, uh, just uh, we are now uh, waiting for the final meeting. But we believe that the next uh, workshop will uh, take uh, place uh, uh, next uh, November in, uh, in uh, Rio and uh, Thank you very much for that, Leon. I'm certain <coughs> that it does play, take place in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It sounds another fabulously interesting place to learn about wind energy. Mm -hmm. I'm pleased now, Director of CAPEC, from what you Thank you, Peter. Uh, thank you everybody. Rakesh has already acknowledged our special people. And uh, I'd like to say thank you Ben Dazzo. Thank you very much for coming here at the last time. And we're, we are hoping that you'll be here for a longer time, but maybe we are, we are expecting your stay for a longer time next time. Yes, definitely. And uh, yeah, thank you all the participants and presenter. It was good. And we would like to acknowledge our um, and we share our appreciations to, to, to very special people who are helping us from the very beginning and uh, we are here up today as a colleague and we are standing in front of all with some, some work and looking forward to get some useful work and get done in future. And uh, <coughs> I'll ask the teacher to hand over this special gift to our very special people, Leon. fast in Nepal. You know with every mile packet, chow chow, you get one little ticket, when you get five, you get one three packet. <laughs> every ten thousand. <laughs> 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 Please submit your this form at the registration next, please. <laughs>